Welcome back to the Iron Range. Today, we are going to be discussing Power Probe and the DVOM. Which one should I own or should I have both? Now let's go through the features real quick of first power probe. As you'll see, this is not exactly the power probe. This is the power scan by Autel. Pretty much in the end, same thing. It's gonna do everything that you know original power probe can do. I don't know what's original, maybe up a couple steps to two, maybe three. <clears throat> two anyway um so you hook this to your positive and your negative you have battery voltage I'll tell you if you have battery ground and it has audible tone for both so This, with that being said, this little tool here can deliver power with a flip of the switch. You roll the switch up, it seems to be caught in something. You roll this little switch up, it delivers battery voltage to whatever circuit you're trying to get to or on. And same thing goes with you roll it down. It will deliver ground to whatever circuit you are going after or on. And uh, it's very, very useful tool. You can, you know, with the flip of a switch, you can verify the integrity of the whole circuit, portion of the circuit. It's a very awesome tool. And it does, this one does, you can switch through and do volts, AC, you can do ohms, and that's through the ground lead and the tip. It will take it. I hate these little conundrums on here. There you go. There in the tip, it'll do ohms. But then you can change if you want the tone on or off. So, <clears throat> that being said, how useful this thing is, it can also be dangerous. You can't just roll up to any circuit and just start throwing power or ground into it. Um, before I go and, you know, like power up a window motor to see if it's even a window motor, which is a simple circuit, you have to see because not all window motors are the same. Some have circuitry in them and whatever you want to call brains, computer brains in them. And you don't want to mess up your computer brains. So you have to either look at the circuit or see if the motor has only two wires going to it. And then you can go ahead and power it up if it's got two wires. But if it has more than two, it's you have to look at the circuit and see if it's seeing a 12 volt or 5 volt signal and then powering up from the signal or if it's just using the power up. Um, something to watch out for. And although this can read from 12 volts or whatever your battery voltage is to zero volts albeit it, it hits the range it's not always accurate it's not going to be the be all and all that's it in accuracy and that's where the dvom comes in handy it's nice to have your normal functions on these uh, as long as it does ohms bolts and amps uh, you should be able to do pretty good with a with a meter like this not this meter but you should be able to do any. and the biggest thing is just knowing your meter too especially when you're uh, when it comes to testing battery draw <clears throat> battery draw is another thing entirely but uh that just gets them 
getting used to. Put this thing up real quick. And you have your uh, volts. Hey, if you can see it, volts 12.24. And this one auto ranges. Uh, it's fairly simple, fairly, you know, straightforward. It's got some memory features, and you know, it does for the most part everything I needed to do. It this one here is the, the snap on. This is not the expensive one with the phone application that can go up to, uh, not go up to, uh, it's been a good weekend. Uh, the phone application that you can read remotely. This is the one just down from it, but the same platform. That's where it would be down here, or in here there'd be a, a Bluetooth function. But I opted out for that. I just wanted this nice screen. It does everything that my old one did, but I went up for this one to this one here for uh, pretty much a seven year warranty. And I like the screen and the platform. So that's what I went for. But for DVOMs, this is what uh, pretty much on a daily basis in this shop, uh, you know, dealership. You're going to ohm circuits and test voltage. This is going to be your accuracy guide right here. You know, um, when it comes to running through your, uh, how they call it, your flow chart for service information for any dealership, they're going to want to know battery voltage. They want to know ohms, resistance, circuit end to end, and they're going to want to know what continuity to, to uh, ground. Um, if there's a short to ground, short to voltage, things like that. So, and that's pretty much where this baby comes in handy. So if, if you ask me the question, which one I'd want, I, I would go for both. This is what I grab when I go for a quick, handy, you know, I'm not going to believe, just because I know the tool, and you have to know the tool. This is, is quick. I'm going to grab this, hook it up to the battery. And it also has, you know, for interior, it's got a plug-in jack for a uh, cigarette lighter. So you can go in the interior. But it's going to let you know definitely, without a doubt, if it's got B-plus battery voltage on that circuit. If it's a circuit that's supposed to have it, it's going to let you know. And if it doesn't, and you've got two of the same, I'd check the one that's good, and then come back to the other one if you can't get a DVOM. Then you have something to go off of, but this is not super accurate all the time it will lull you into the false pretense of being super accurate but it's not you just have to know your tool oh uh, so yeah this is uh the snap-on uh, let's see the part number is EEDM 525F uh, for what I've used this meter so far it's been it's been really good and like I said, it does what I want it to do. And I just like the, pretty much the display and the readout. But I'll tell you what, I always grab this Power Pro because I want to know if there's ground on a circuit. I don't want to be falsely hunting around for a ground and accidentally have to, you know, tweak a little bit and all the ground's good. And, you know, I, I don't want to be going through that. I want to have good ground, good battery voltage. And you know what's going on at that tip. And then kick this in from there if you need to be accurate. Because I have seen on a circuit from one, you know, our Dodges that I work on have tip -ums. And this was a battery voltage. I went to help somebody hook this up. And one headlight wasn't working and it was on a low beam. And the circuit came from the tip -um to the light bulb. So we had this, he had the connectors off on both. And it was definitely not battery voltage on those there. And it was battery voltage on that one. But it said it was 5 point something. But either way, I checked it just to make sure at the tip of them, at the bottom of the tip where it was coming out of the circuit, 
but this said 5.5, which, you know, it was not battery voltage, but he had his, we had him take his DVOM, check it at the other end, at the tip, and it was 10 point something. It almost practically cut the voltage in half. So, I don't know why I was doing that, but that's why our master tech always tells me he hates those power probes, but hey, I'm not grabbing a jump pack to power up a circuit quick though, am I? You just gotta know your tool and use it right and in the right application. So, I just wanna get something out there for you guys. I've been really busy. Me and my beautiful wife have been painting our house lately. It's been just hectic and crazy with busy getting stuff done. But uh, if you like this video, please like, subscribe. Thanks for watching.